What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I'm going to open up two Yu-Gi-Oh! Cybernetic Horizon boxes for you guys. So yes, I actually got my case today, and I thought for the first video, we should open up two boxes, and then after that, we'll open up the rest of them, because I have them right over here. Here, I'm going to be off camera for a second there. So, I have all my boxes here. We have 12 boxes of Cybernetic Horizon. So, yeah, I mean, the next video for tomorrow is going to open up the rest of these. So we have 10 boxes for tomorrow, two for today. I thought I would start off with kind of a shorter video. That way we can kind of go a little bit more in depth and, and talk about each card a little bit more. And then on this other opening with 10 boxes, I'm going to just mainly just name off the hollows and just go through them one after the other. So I thought that might be the smarter way of doing that, to, to go through the case opening. Instead of doing many parts, but also, I know you guys kind of like it when I review the cards. And, uh, yeah, it's tough to do that with... 12 boxes, because it's going to be a long video anyway. I don't want it to be, you know, uh, several hours or whatever. So I thought that might be the smart way of doing things. So we'll see, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And if you uh, did enjoy it and you're looking forward to seeing all these unboxings, be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. Also, uh, yeah, let's just get to these boxes. I, I can't wait to see what we get, because this set that has the Danger cards, we have Dragoonides, we have Noble Knights, New Neo Spatian card, which, sneak preview, but still, it counts, and uh, Cyverse Rituals, and... Just so many things. I mean, this is the set I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Only thing is, I wish Needle Fiber was in this. That was the only letdown, really, by this set. I really wish they would have thrown it in there for us. Also, too, in case people are wondering, I got everything, uh, all these boxes from Bing Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. But, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right. First pack. Can we start off with a danger card? That, that seems to keep happening, so <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we start off with Danger Bigfoot again? Oh, there's the Metaphys card. Not bad. Goki. Then we have old uh, Noble Knight uh, Custian. That's a good card. That's one I needed. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, this is the main Noble Knight you want to get from this set, by the way. You want to get three of these, so that is awesome. It's actually a really good card. And uh, Signet Ritual, which is the ritual spell for the new Cybers. Oh, there we go. A Metaphys Decoy Dragon. That card was tough for me to get from Sneak Preview and everything. This is like my second one, and it's just a common. So, it's a tough one for me to get. And uh, like I said in yesterday's video, and pretty much all these videos where I've talked about this set, I have a lot of deck profiles on the way. First off, I thought I would go with Metaphys, because I know I'm easily going to get everything, but then we have like Noble Knights, Dragoonides, a ton of stuff, seriously. Oh, there's one of our Dragoonities right there. And, wow! Okay, uh, it wasn't in the first pack. We'll get in the second pack. That's fine. Uh, we got Danger Bigfoot. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, that That's still a good way to start off the opening, you know? Second pack, I'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> that is awesome. I, I can't believe we already got another one of these. I figured... If I'm lucky, maybe I'll get a couple of these from my case. That's kind of the one I'm worried about is the danger cards because I want to build them. I, I, you know, again, that was another net profile I want to do. So hopefully I get everything from a case. I'm going to be kind of sad if not, but that's a good way to start it off, you know? <laughs> so there we go. That is awesome. Already got one of our secret rares and probably one of the best of the set. Then a Sim uh, Tabler? I, I don't know how you say that. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we have new Cyber Dragons in this set as well. I'm sure you guys know that, but I always forget to mention that because there's so many cool cards in this set. Yeah, Cyber Dragons have their own Link Monster in this. And that's another one I might try to build, too. We'll see. Man, I, I don't want to promise too much. All right, we have Crusadia Revival. There we go. And, oh, cool, we finally got this card, uh, Paladin of Storm Dragon. So, yeah, it's like the new Paladin card, ritual card for uh, Cyverse. Pretty neat. I wish he would, like, instantly bring out Firewall or something. I know that might be too strong, but to go along with the, the Paladin of White, you know, like, brings out blue eyes, and then the Paladin of Black, I guess, that brings out red eyes and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. I think there's even one for Photons, I guess, too. So I thought it was really neat that they made another one. All right, and, okay, there's our Cyber Dragon card. Uh, this one is Cyber Dragon uh, Seeker. Is that how you say that, or Seeker? It, it's one or the other. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm close enough. But, yeah, we got the Link Monster already, too. Oh, that is awesome. I know the toughest card for Cyber Dragon is going to be that Seeker for them. That gives you an instant Cyber Dragon. I forget its exact name. Hopefully, we get one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I know that one's going to be the tough one. But, uh, at least we got the Link Monster, too. It looks awesome, too. I, I love its design. Also, a Cyber Witch. That's another one of the... Uh, the cards that help out with rituals. It's a link monster on this one. Not a ritual, but it helps them. Hopefully we get Magician. He's the one that's on the cover, you know? I don't think he's going to be tough to get. It's usually not how that works. 
Beast Magic Attack. Pretty good. And we have uh, Dragoonity Sinitus, uh, I guess how you technically say it. This is a pretty good card for Dragoonities. I mean, it, it's nothing crazy. My build uses two of these right now that I'm testing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it can come in handy. It's just not, it's, it's not like anything insane either, you know? Is that the best way to put it? And also we got one of Demise, which I still think it's so weird that these are, are rares. Excuse me, not commons. Well, a lot of them are commons, but these are rares. I mean, I'm happy because they're easy to get, but I kind of wish these were high rarity just because it looked cool, you know? I, I don't know. But I am happy they're easy to get. They look like a lot of fun, too. You guys know I love ritual summoning, so I, I might have to do something on those, too. Again, I, I don't want to promise too much. I, I know I'm bad at that. Promise all kinds of things. I'm like, oh, I don't have the time to get to everything. So I'm trying to be careful. We have Mirror Force Launcher. Yeah, that's actually a new card for Mirror Force. It's pretty interesting, actually. I remember talking about this back in the day. And then also uh, Dragoonity Knight uh, Lewin. Pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of sad that this Dragoonity's not really good at all. Uh, unfortunately. I mean, it might have its own strategy. But yeah, it, it, since it's a tuner monster, that really hurt it. You know, Synchro Tuner? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. And I hate that, too, because it's like... You know, I like all Dragoonies. I, I collect all of them, but yeah. <laughs> that and their trap cards just really are disappointing. Ascalon, which is the stronger Synchro, and um, the monsters that they got, the other monsters, you know, the fake monsters, are actually pretty good. So, yep, there's one of them right there. This is one you want to basically have two or three of for your Dragoonie deck, so really good. Dragoonie Legion. And we have Hip Hoshengen. So yeah, this is the new Link monster for light attribute decks. It's kind of like Miss Star Boy, but for light monsters. So yeah, they finally got that. We have the light and dark ones in this set, by the way. They're both super rare. And uh, yeah, this card's awesome. I want to use it with uh, Galaxy Eyes. It's pretty good. And I think I'm hitting for like Blue Eyes and other things too. Anything with light monsters, obviously, you're going to throw it in. Then also uh, World Legacy World Crown. That used to be the card I would use a lot in Galaxy Eyes Photons uh, until they got their own <laughs> Link Monster, which I guess we're getting in the next set. Still a great card, though. Like I said, anything with light monsters. Interesting cards. And here's the Dark Elemental Lord. This one is Umbra Mirage, the Elemental Lord. Pretty cool. I think it's cool they actually decided to make a dark one. Remember talking about that when it was first revealed. And then also, we finally have the Gladiator Beast uh, Dragasis. I don't know how you say that name. It's the Gladiator Beast Link Monster, basically. From the Link Vrains pack. I think it's the only one from Link Vrains pack, though, that's in this set, unfortunately. But it's cool we finally got it, at least. I still wish we would have just got the Link Greens pack. It would have been, you know, so much easier. But that's not how it works over here in the TCG. Nope. <laughs> we have to sell our kidneys for our cards over here. So, yeah, they're making us work for these Link cards. And, I uh, again, I wonder if we're ever going to get uh, Needle Fiber as well. You know, that's another one that we're all waiting on. And they're bringing up this one. Still want to get. Crusadia uh, uh, Magus. Did I say that? I think so. Yeah, I hadn't got this card yet. It's pretty cool. They're a, uh, an archetype I want to try out. M maybe we'll do something. I don't know. Again, not promising too much. Uh, Reprotocus? I sure. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Dinosaur Leap Monster. I think it's actually pretty decent, too, if I remember correctly. Might come in handy. I guess it'll work with anything dinosaurs, I think. I think it actually well, it requires two monsters. Okay. The younger version of Demise. It's pretty cool. And there's the card I wanted. Okay. <laughs> now, this is a good boxer off with. I mean, I get Danger Bigfoot, and I finally get one of Ascalon, which this is the card I've been really excited about from this set. Uh, I mean, it's nothing like just totally game-breaking, like the big difference for Dragoonities, but this card is still really good for them, too. I mean, all you gotta do is use the new Dragoonity Coos, the, the new Tuner Monster. It's, it's basically a Phalanx that can become a level 4, you know, Tuner Monster. And uh, you go with the whole, you know, usual combo where you bring out Vatriana, then you get, you know, you go for Kusta Phalanx on that. And then you can just go for Ascalon. So he's actually really easy to bring out, and he makes it so we can use some of our other Dragoonity Synchros that you don't see anymore, like Barcha, for example. And even, like, Trident and stuff, too, I believe you can use with it. But, uh, yeah, that is actually a really good Synchro for them. Nothing game-breaking, but good. So I'm happy with that, it just looks so awesome. I'm glad it was holographic, too. And uh, we also have a Sim Tabler. 
Yeah, I wish we would have got that 20th anniversary rarity, though. That's not in this set, by the way. I, someone asked me the other day, no, nah, we didn't get that in English. I, I wish. Because the 20th anniversary cards looked amazing, uh, obviously. I mean, <laughs> and uh, the one for Ascalon is one I really want. I need to get that. I have an ultimate rare one. Well, we have Wee Witch's Apprentice. This is the Dark Link monster, so it goes with Oshingen, I guess. You know, it's the other one that goes with him. And Link, a uh, Disciple. There we go. Since we're going to go through a lot of holographics, <laughs> hopefully I don't put any hollows with the rares in comments, but if I do, yeah, I always sort through the cards after my videos, so. Organize everything. Another one of our Dragoonity. And we have Crusadia uh, Magius, another one of those. And then also a White Stingray. I think that was like a V-Jump promo or something. Interesting. I'm looking forward to getting the other, uh, like a Synchro that they're getting. I think it's in the next manga or something. I don't know. It's pretty good, though. I believe you can actually use it with, like, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So looking forward to getting that promo. It goes with that little ar archetype with all these different uh, white, like, sea monster-like cards. Pretty neat. And we have Crusadia Maximus. Oh, yeah, he looks awesome, too. This is uh, Aram, I guess, like, with this new power. I don't really understand the lore completely, but uh, I gotta say, they look awesome, and I love the artwork, too. So that's cool. Also, uh, Crossbreed. I don't really test them out too much, but they look cool. I mean, basically a bunch of knights and stuff, so uh, I'm gonna be a fan of that. <laughs> it's just that simple, you know? Alright, Beast Magic Attack. Then we have Danger Nessie! Oh man, I got both the Danger cards, the Secret Rares, uh, from the box! That is awesome! First box, already got two of the Danger cards, and even Sneak Preview I got two of them, so I guess I just need one more of each of them now, and I'm just about all set. I just need to hunt down the Ultra Rares and stuff. But that is awesome! I can't believe I actually got both of them out of the same box. Man, I I'm starting to think the Danger cards are my spirit archetype from this set, which is weird because Noble Knights and Dragoon are here, right? Those have always been some of my favorites, but okay, the Dangers are going to be my new spirit cards, I guess. That is awesome, though. I can't believe I got one of each of them. And then also Cyber Switch. That is so cool. Those are, like I said, some of the better secrets of the set. I think technically the best one is Boral Sword Dragon, but... Uh, the danger cards are like right after them. So. Psychic Ace. He looks cool. And World Legacy Survivor. And also we have uh, Candle, which is one of these uh, ritual. Uh, they're monsters that help out ritual monsters. Pretty interesting. I've heard they do well with Gishkis. Might have to do something on that. I might wait for the rest of them, though, because there's going to be two more that come out in Soul Fusion, So, which is the next set. Might just wait on that. I don't know. I just really like this set. It's giving me ideas, and it's making me want to build a lot of different things, which is kind of something I needed. And, well, there's uh, another one of the danger cards. This one is Chupacabra. <laughs> that one, he's the scariest one by far. I mean, look at that. That is just... What demented mind <laughs> came up with this? And congrats. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that is awesome looking, too. I still like Jackalope, I think, the best, though, just because it has danger with a question mark instead of an exclamation. It just looks funny. It's like, danger? Uh, sure. <laughs> but yeah, this one is definitely something that's terrifying. And also Paladin of Storm Dragon. But yeah, we're getting... I guess we got a dangerous box. No one's made that pun, right? Nobody said that at all? I'm, I'm the first one? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, what else? Are we missing an Ultra, I think? Maybe? Trying to remember. There. We'll see. I don't know what else to expect. We have a Mana Dragon, a Zenitron? Did I say that? Uh, I'll go with that. And also another one of this Dinosaur Link monster, which I don't want people to hunt me down uh, when I say it wrong. So we've already said it wrong once, and that's it. <laughs> you know when you're defeated. still love this Drag Dragoonity card, though. I mean, it just looks cool. The artwork, unfortunately, like I said, though, it's not really that great. Another one of Noble Knight uh, Cassian. That's that's really good. I mean, I need another one. I think that gives me my playset now. Another one of the Gladiator Beast as well. Yeah, now I'm starting to get the Metaphys uh, Decoy Dragon. Man, like I said, I've opened up, I guess, 18 packs before the boxes came out because Sneak Preview, uh, I opened up, you know, 15, and then also I got those three packs yesterday from Konami. 
and I've only gotten one of decoy Dragon. So at least with this box, I'm starting to see a bunch of them. Because I needed three of those for my Metaphys deck profile. At least they're commons. Not too tough to get. Whoa, focus. There we are. Have a uh, Vorticular uh, Drum gone. Yeah, I think I got this from Sync Preview. It's pretty cool. And uh, the Deep Grave. Hope we get the rest of the different uh, Boral cards and all those soon. Like the ones from the the Link Brains box. Because we're still missing, I think, a couple Link Monsters and stuff. Sky Striker Ace uh, Hayate, by the way. I kind of said that. Like, <laughs> just hopefully I didn't scare anyone. Uh, but yeah, this is a great super rare from the set. It's probably one of the main cards people are after, and it's a super rare. So not tough to get. And it's terrifying, actually, too. If you've faced uh, Sky Strikers, you know why. Man, this card sets up a lot for them. Another one of Demise. I'm surprised it was super rare. I guess it's to match the other Link Monsters. But it still surprises me. Like, they could have probably easily just made it like a secret rare like short print and it would have been like probably the most expensive card of the set if they would have done that. It, it kind of surprised me Konami didn't go that route to be honest. We're looking at Memory. That's a pretty good card. And a Noble Knight Pelinor. So we got another one of the Noble Knights as well as Link Disciple. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Pelinor. Cool looking card, but yeah. My build doesn't use him. I use all the other Noble Knight cards that came out, I guess. So... I kind of wish he would have been like a Link Monster. Give us another Link Monster for Noble Knights. That would have been cool. Well, well are we going to focus? There we go. And, well, okay, another Danger card. This is seriously a Danger Box, because we have Danger Zone, which I got one of these uh, yesterday as well from the three packs open up. I guess, spoiler, if you haven't seen that yet, if YouTube notified you. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an awesome card, too. So, just getting closer to getting everything. And Cyber Switch. Glad I'm having good luck. Already, the first box is pretty much, this might be our best box already. I don't know. Dragoonity, let's see, Mirror Force Launcher, and then uh, Goki the Giant Ogre. I need to speed it up just a little bit. I don't want this video to be too drastically long, and we're down to the last pack of this box, so what can we end with? Let's see. All right, I, I don't know if we're missing anything, but we'll see. And Wee Witch's Apprentice, so nothing crazy on that. Sign at Ritual. Uh, I mean, it's a good card, but I, I thought we had all of our higher rarity cards already. All right, that's everything from the box. Uh, let me restart the webcam, because if I record too long with it, it doesn't want to. So, one second. We are back, and let's get to this other box. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm probably going to uh, just name off the hollows from this box, because this video's already gone on for a little bit. And uh, you guys have pretty much seen every rare, unless we ha have something different, you know? So let's see. Alright, one of the Crusadias. Then we have a Vorticular uh, Drum Gone. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's the Frog card. Did we get one of those from the first box? I don't think so, did we? Let's see. Okay, is this case going to be kind of mapped or what? I wonder. Usually that happens with Yu-Gi-Oh! So this has a secret in it. That might be uh, what's going on. We'll see. And, yep, <laughs> I guess so. I guess we know where our secret rares are in our case then, right? It's always the second pack uh, on the right side. So, yeah, this is uh, the Cyber Dragon card I was talking about earlier. Uh, Cyber Rev System. And, uh, basically, it's like, here's a free Cyber Dragon. That's what this card does. It is a spell card that instantly gives you a Cyber Dragon. So, it's great for them, obviously. I mean, a free Cyber Dragon, always great. So, yeah, this is the one I'm kind of worried about getting three of as well. Because uh, it might be a little bit tougher. But it is awesome, too. Oh, okay. I guess I kind of have an idea where my secret rares are. I forgot on the left side, though. But it's the second pack, I guess, on, on the right side. <laughs> That's a good one to get, too. I mean, seriously, I'm having some insane luck. I'm getting some of the best secret rares of the set so far. Even ultra rares and stuff, too. Or at least in my opinion. I count Escalon as being one of the best. World Legacy Survivor. Another one, Dragoonity. I do hope, though, that maybe they continue with the Dragoonity support. <laughs> maybe we'll see a little bit more. Cyber Dragon's got the better support. And another one of Danger Zone, right there. All right, we got another Ultra Rare. 
So, uh, yeah, I have a playset now of this one. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I haven't really done just a ton of testing yet with dangers. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. At least I got my playset. That's kind of the goal for this, anyway, for this whole opening. Uh, and all these openings, really, is I'm trying to get at least, like, a playset of everything. So, whatever I want to build, whatever I need, I have it. <laughs> just in case. That's kind of the plan. And Noble Knight Pelinor. I wonder if I can get another one of these sea monsters. Sacred Costian, I think is his name. I could use one of those. Whoa, oh, Beast Magic Attack. There we go. Crusadia Revival. Another one of the World Legacy Crown. At least the Crusadia cards seem to be easy to get. People are interested in those. Although I haven't seen the... Uh, um, some of the Link Monsters. Like the stronger one. Have... Uh, Umbra Mirage, Elemental Lord. There's the other, uh, <laughs> what is this one? Talismandra. The other one that helps out with ritual summoning. Those are kind of tough to get. I haven't noticed too many of those. Alright. Mirror Force Launcher. Another one of those. Decoy Dragon. Yeah, we're missing, like, the main, uh... Paladin. That's what I always call him. I forget his new translated name. We'll have to see. Hands. Crusadia Magius. Pretty cool. It's like the, yeah, that's the link one for them. I don't know the rarity of the other one, though, the one I'm talking about. It's the one that's on the horse. Which kind of looks like my logo, so I'm kind of a, an instant fan of that for that reason. I'm simple like that. Oh, there we go! We got another one of Chupacabra! Well, another danger card for us, another ultra rare. So, yeah, I mean, I guess they're not too tough to get, or I'm having some amazing luck. One way or the other, I'm fine with it. But, yeah, I already have two of these now. That is awesome! Alright, I still say it's the stuff of nightmares. Look at that! Seriously! <laughs> that is just a nightmare! Man. I can't wait to see what other danger cards can come out in the future, too. Like, the ones that they had on this set are ones I knew of, you know, like different cryptids. But after that, I'm kind of wondering what could be next, because I don't know a lot about different cryptids and stuff. Crusadia Maximus. I won those. One of Ruin as well. And last one for the rats out of the box. I think we got our ultra rares and everything. But we'll see. Maybe we have an extra secret rare or something. That'd be awesome. I would not complain. And Hip Hoshengen. I'm fine with that. I want to get a bunch of these anyway. Not bad. Might have a place of each of those now. I'm not sure. And now with the left side of the box. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what else I can get. Because so far, uh, like I said, I've had some pretty amazing luck. <laughs> that, that's that been pretty good. We'll see. We Witch's Apprentice. That's good to get after a Hoshengen, I guess. <laughs> Makes sense. My secrets, though, so far have been amazing. Hopefully Boral Sword uh, Dragon is in this. That's what I'm hoping for. Or, of course, you know, another one of the danger cards would be amazing as well. Still need to get one of Jackalope. That's the one I'm missing. And, okay, that's a, that's a pretty good secret. What is that? Was that the third one in? I think so. I didn't really pay attention on counting. But we have Pinpoint Landing. So, yeah, this is a new card that helps you, like, draw cards whenever a monster special summon, basically. I guess that's kind of the best way to summarize it. Pretty good card. It's one I got from my sneak preview packs as well. Because I had some insane luck at the sneak preview. So, uh, yeah, it, it is one of the better cards of the set, I feel like. One of the better secret rares. I don't think it's really getting hyped yet, but I can see it in the future being really good. So, that's one I plan on holding on to uh, a playset of those, because I don't think they're expensive, and, like I said, I feel like they have a future. That's a pretty good card. And, well, another one of Custian. I already got my place out of those, so that's going to be an extra. We're going to have quite a few extras. <laughs> it's still at the beginning of the video. Dragoonity. What else do we have? Well, okay, make sure it focused. And right after that, we have another one of Cyber Dragon uh, Hertz. So, uh, yeah, we got another one of these. I got one from the seat preview as well, so that gives me two of these, and it's an awesome card for Dragoonities, too. I like, too, how even if it's part of, like, because it can become basically a Cyber Dragon, you know, regular one, and become a level five, that uh, if you use it with Nova and then Infinity, if you detach it from Infinity, it still gains its effect, supposedly. So, it's pretty good. 
Then our Dragoonity. I figured that was next, because Synchro Monster. But there, there we go. That is a really good Ultra to get. I mainly can't wait, though, until um, the Legendary Duels 3, because that includes a ton of Cyber Dragon support as well in that. Like, after we get that set as well, Cyber Dragons, I think, are going to do very well. <laughs> I think they're going to be meta. Dragoonity Senatus, another one of those. But honestly, from Legendary Duelists, I'm mainly looking forward to uh, the new Galaxy Ass cards. That's the one I'm like, I, I want to build them so bad. And then Soul Fusion, we get even more support. So it, it's pretty insane. Noble Knight, a Pelinor. Oh, another one of those, the Candle. Man, I have not seen that Crusader card yet. Like I said, I think it's their strongest Link monster. Maybe it's a secret or something. I don't remember. I don't have all the rarities memorized just yet. I have most of them, I feel like. And Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Like I said, that's awesome. Might be a little bit tougher to get. I don't know, for super rare? I think, though, I have a playset now, so... Not, like, extremely tough to get, but it seems like... Has it been, like, one per box, I think, so far? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that changes. Uh, Mana Dragon, another one of those. And only a few packs left, so I think we're missing an Ultra Rare, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's Jackalope, right? That's like the only danger card I'm missing. Let's see. World Legacy Survivor. Or, uh, man, I really hope I can get... Cyverse uh, Wizard as well, or Magician, excuse me. That's the cover card. He looks really awesome. He's like, uh, Playmaker's Dark Magician. And, oh, <laughs> I called it! <laughs> I freaking call it! It counts! That counts! <laughs> Alright, we got a Cyverse Magician! <laughs> I'm counting that, I still say. That, that totally counts. Uh, but yeah, we actually got one! That is awesome, too. It's a really good card. And also, it does have the attack and defense, like, uh, of course, Dark Magician. It, it is kind of like uh, his version of Dark Magician. And being a ritual, too, I, I'm a big fan of it, honestly. So, that is awesome. I was hoping, because I was like, I think he's an Ultra Rare. So, and if I'm missing one, there we go. So, <laughs> that worked out. That is awesome, though. Man, these, these boxes have been amazing so far. I can't wait to see what the other one's going to have. I don't know. Is it going to get better or... I, I hope so. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go downhill. We'll see. Uh, Crusadia Maximus, another one of those. And, yeah, last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with, um, I don't know, something above a Super Rare? I think we got everything. Let's see. <laughs> Who knows? Harder the cards. Help us out here. Let's get another uh, Cyber's Magician. How about that? And... Uh, Vorticure, uh, Drum Gone. Another one of those. So, yeah, I kind of thought we had all of our high rarity cards. But, uh, yeah, just from these packs and everything, I think we did really well. The first two boxes, those have been insane so far. So I can't wait to see what else we're going to get. We have ten more boxes left. And, yeah, I mean, I got some of the best secret rares. Even, you know, of course, getting Cyber's Magician. That's really good. I got, like, basically, or just about everything for Dangers. So I'm pretty happy about that. Even Cyber Dragon's Pinpoint Guard, or Pinpoint Landing, excuse me. Pinpoint Guard is a different card. <laughs> and just so many cool cards. Chupacabra, I still think that looks like a nightmare, but it's cool to get. Anything else? There's the Danger Zone. And also, yeah, I, this is the one I'm kind of worried about, though. Cyber Rev System, just two more, and hopefully we'll get them. I think that's one of the tougher ones to get. Another one, Danger Zone. What else do we have here? Yeah, Chupacabra. We're getting close to our other dangers. There we go, Danger Nessie. And I still can't believe it's like our second pack, basically. <laughs> we got Bigfoot. So that's awesome. And I'm happy to I got Ascalon. I need to get one more of those. Cyber Dragon Link Monster. And yeah, Danger Bigfoot to end off on too. So hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe for more openings because like I said, after all these openings and we're going to have that huge opening tomorrow and everything too, I do have deck profiles planned and I promise I'm going to deliver on these too. I know I'm not always the best on uh, <laughs> keeping some of my promises. But yeah, we're going to probably go with like uh, Metaphys, 
uh, Noble Knights, Dragoon to these. They're going to be like the first three, probably. And then afterwards, Dangers and everything else, Cybers. I have, I have plenty of stuff planned. So, hope you guys are looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.